Lacanya Bertrell exercises for one and one half hours each day. During the first part of her routine, she rides a bicycle and averages 10 miles per hour. For the remainder of the time, she rollerblades and averages four miles per hour. If the total distance she travels is 12 miles, how far did she travel on the rollerblades? The first step to solving this problem is to understand and translate I'm going to let D equal the distance in miles traveled on rollerblades. Then 12 minus D is the distance in miles traveled on the bicycle, since the total distance traveled was 12. I'll then organize my information in a table, have the part of the routine. One part is rollerblades, the other is the bicycle. We've defined the distance as D and 12 minus D. It was given that the rate on rollerblades was 4 and the rate on the bicycle was 10. The time can be found by taking distance divided by rate. So time will be d over 4 for the rollerblades and 12 minus d over 10 for the bicycle. So now I can use my equation form based on information given in the problem that the total time exercised was 1.5 hours. So the time on rollerblades, which is d over 4, plus the time on the bicycle, which is 12 minus d over 10, is equal to 1.5. We will use this equation to solve the problem. The second step to this problem is to carry out. We have an equation here that we need to solve and we notice that we have fractions. So we'll multiply each side by the least common denominator. Now the least common denominator in this case is 20. So I will rewrite my equation as it was given. And I will multiply both sides by 20. I can take 20 times each piece then, 20 times d over 4. Notice that the 20 and the 4 has a common factor of 5, so I'll end up with a common factor of 4, so therefore we end up with 5d. 20 times 12 minus d over 10, the 20 and the 10 uh, reduce to just a 2, so we'll have 2 times 12 minus d. And 1.5 times 20, is 30. Simplifying a bit, using the distributive property here, we'll have 24 minus 2d equals 30, and then we can combine like terms, 5d minus 2d is 3d, plus 24 equals 30. We can subtract 24 from both sides of the equation, and so we'll have 3d equal to 6, and then divide both sides by 3, so we have d is 2. Now as we go back to the original equation, we want to determine if 2 is indeed a solution. Notice that the denominators of the original equation are not variables, so therefore we know that d is in fact a solution. The third step to the problem is to answer the question, we found that d was equal to 2 and d was indeed what we wanted to find. So the answer to the question is Lacanya traveled 2 miles on her rollerblades.